come in and have a seat. Assalamualaikum and my name is Dr. Alif. I am the one who examined your son just now. So you guys are Faris parents, right? Yes, doctor. May I his parents? May I know what happened to your son initially? Um, so actually, this morning, my son had a fever and seizure. So we brought him to the nearest clinic. The doctor there gave medication to my son already. Then he also suggested we go to the hospital. My son does not have any seizure anymore. But why must we bring him here? I thought my son is okay now. Oh, I see. It's okay. There's no need to worry. The reason you need to bring your son to the hospital is because we can provide further and better examination and treatment for your son. From the physical examination, we found out that your son is still drowsy and he has a weakness in his leg. Oh, for my son. So, what are you going to do now? Well, the next step that is best for your son is doing a lumbar puncture. The purpose of this procedure is for us to get specimen for further diagnosis. Lumbar puncture? What is that? I never heard of that procedure. Is that harmful to our son? Okay, let me show you. So, lumbar puncture is a procedure where a needle will be gently inserted into the canal in the backbone of your son's lower back. So, in the canal, it contains spinal cord and a fluid called the cerebrospinal fluid. You can call it spinal fluid. The procedure will take about 30 to 45 minutes. The symptoms shown by your son indicate that he may have an infection in his brain. The spinal fluid circulates in the spinal cords and also around our brains. So that is why we need to do a lumbar puncture so we can get a specimen of the spinal fluid to check which organism causing this because there are many organisms such as bacteria and viruses that can cause this. We need to identify which organism causing these infections so that we can administer the proper treatment to fight this infection. What? Infection? Are you kidding me? Yes, we suspected that your son may have an infection in his brain or also known as meningitis. So, what do you guys think about this procedure? Can we proceed? Oh no, doctor. How can? My child is just having a fever. How can you say he got brain infection suddenly? And I don't think the lava puncture is safe to do to our precious baby. He is too small to endure the pain. I mean, what if he develops any complication after this because you punch his back? We refuse to do so, doctor. He is our one and only child. We don't want to risk his life to undergo such a procedure. Najim, please tell me that the doctor is lying right now. And our son is healthy, right? I know it's up for you to let our son do this, honey. But for now, we need to trust the doctor. The doctor knows the best for our son. I, I think he will not recommend this procedure if it is harmful for our son. No way. You don't understand me. How can you easily agree with that? I am his mother. I carried him for nine months. You don't love our son, right? You just want him to die because of this. No, it's not like that. You need to understand. I love him as much as you love him. We need to trust the doctors here. I understand your feeling right now. Because as a parents, we want the best for our child and we do not want any harm for them. But this procedure is crucial for us to diagnose the exact cause of these infections and plan the best treatment for him. The sooner the better because if left untreated, it can develop into more serious complications. And you don't have to be worried about the pain because we will inject the anesthetic or the painkillers into his skin first. The painkillers will make the skin numb. Only then we will inject the needle into his back. How and how about the rumors that I heard from the Facebook that the lumbar puncture itself can cause paralysis to our son? Is it true? And I think there's many alternatives that we can do except the lumbar puncture. 
Well, it is not entirely true because the risk of paralysis during lama puncture is extremely rare. Lama puncture is a routine procedure done in the hospital and there are a lot of cases needed for this procedure to be done and it will be carried out by a well-trained specialist so you don't have to worry much about that, okay? Unfortunately, this is the only way to detect the causes. Other ways such as scans like MRI and CT scan will not show any cellular change for infection. Is there any risk from this procedure, doctor? Yes. The risks of this procedure are typically the same with any other needle insertion procedure. Bleeding at the injected area, skin infection, and pain after the procedure. That is all. But precautions are taken to avoid serious complications and everything will be done in a sterile environment. Serious complications such as heavy bleeding, brain injury and spinal cord injury are extremely rare. Are you sure this can be successful? Honey, don't worry too much. The doctor and nurse will do their best for our son, okay? For now, let's pray for our son to get better, okay? I know you can do this. Okay, doctor. Since we think this is the best for our son, so we agree to proceed with this procedure. But please, do your very best to our son, please. <laughs> this is our only child. Please, I'm begging you. Thank you so much for your cooperations. I believe this is the best course of action for your son treatment. Do both of you understand what I have explained about this procedure? Do you need more explanation about it? Or do you have any other question for us? Yes, understood. Yes. Okay, so this is the consent form. Can you sign here for me, please? Thank you. Doctor, please take care of our one and only son. Thank you. Of course. We will do our best and let us pray that everything will go well and your son will be healthy again, inshallah, inshallah. Thank you so much for your time. I will inform any updates about your sons to you later, okay? Thank you.